Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be optimizing Premiere Pro 2021 and making it run the fastest it possibly can. So the first thing we want to do is actually get into the preferences menu. So on Windows, it's going to be on edit preferences, but on Mac, you should be able to click on the name of the application and then it should pull up a menu where you can select preferences. Uh, we will start in the general section. In the general section, you don't really need to change anything. This is basically just your personal preference. Like for example, projects, double click, open the new tab. So it's just little features that don't actually affect the performance. So on appearance, same thing. Now in audio hardware, there's a latency tab. I would change it to 100. It just makes it a little more instantaneous. It shouldn't matter too much. This basically just gives you better audio sync. Auto save, another one of those where it's just personal preference. So this on default, it's just set to automatically save every 15 minutes. Control surface, default, 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 default. Okay, once we get to the media section, this is actually kind of important. Number one, we actually want to use proxies especially especially if you're on lower end hardware if you have better hardware like for example you have a dedicated graphics card let's say nvidia 1060 or newer with at least six gig of vram then you probably don't need proxies but if you're editing on four cores or less i would probably enable proxies so i'm running on the 1165 g7 which only has four cores eight threads then here in growing files you make sure you deselect that. Down here, we want to enable HVEC H264 hardware accelerated decoding. If you disable these, things will not run very good at all. And then on the media cache, okay, it's not ideal for everyone to have this, but if you're not on a laptop, let's say you're on a desktop, I would actually recommend to have multiple disk drives. So SSDs, preferably NVMe, one for your media cache, and then one for your scratch disk files. And I'll show you guys how to change your scratch disk in a second. And uh, media cache management, I like to delete it within 90 days because if it's older than that, I probably don't need it. Now in the memory, we need to max this out. Okay. It should be 13 for Premiere Pro. As you can see, 13 and then RAM reserved for other applications. It's just set the three gigabytes and obviously optimize rendering for performance. Now in the playback, make sure you disable enable Mercury Transmit because this actually slows down the computer because it has to output two simultaneous video, basically previews. So you do not want to use that on lower end hardware. And then on sync settings and timeline, these are all, again, personal preference. So we can go ahead and click OK. And then to change the scratch disks, you actually need to make a new project. So let's go ahead and make a project. We have the general and then we have scratch disk. Before you go to pass the general, the renderer right here, make sure it's not set to software. If you have an Intel integrated graphics, you should at least have OpenCL, Mercury Playback Engine, GPU acceleration. And then uh, all these other settings, they don't actually matter that much. So just leave it. Now for the scratch disks, this is where Premiere Pro basically looks at your files and then reads it. So if you have it on another drive, a faster drive, just like the media cache, it would actually improve performance a little bit. But if you don't have an extra drive, don't worry, just leave it by default. So once you're in to enable proxies, to get basically faster performance if you need it. Uh, well, of, of course, you're gonna need to import your video file. So let's do that. And then once you're in, you wanna right click on the video, proxy, and then create proxies. And then these are just the basically default presets. I would just leave it by default. H.264 low resolution proxy, and then click okay. But it should basically open up media encoder and what it'll basically do is render a lower resolution copy of the same video so then you can edit with faster performance especially if your footage is in 4k 
or something uh, ridiculous like 8K of RAW, you actually have a chance to render it on your lower end hardware. So as you can see down here, you do have to wait for it to finish. All right, the video is now done rendering. We can basically close out of Media Encoder and then jump back into Premiere Pro. So I am gonna close out of this learning tab and go into the editing. And we can basically drag footage. That's because you have to go into the menu right here. You want to add the, the plus sign, I believe. And then you have to drag this right here, this icon. I don't really know how to describe it, but it is the proxy icon. You wanna drag it down to the bottom so let's add it like right here, I guess, and then click OK. Once you click OK, it should disappear unless my Premiere crashed. All right, so now once it's added, you will see if it's blue, that means it's turned on. Gray means it's turned off. So if you turn on the blue, let's make this screen a little bigger. It should play smoothly. So I am recording right now, so I'm guessing the performance is not going to be too good, but let's go ahead and find out. What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome back to the channel. channel. Today, I'm going to teach you guys. So let me actually turn off the audio. I don't want to hear myself talking. That's a little mm. annoying. Yeah. So let's see how fast it'll play. Uh, you actually can turn on the drop frames indicator right here. All you have to do is click on the tool icon right here and then go down to show drop frames indicator so green means there's zero drop frames so let me go ahead and speed ramp this to like maybe 4 or 8x what's up guys so welcome 1X, back to the channel today i'm going to teach you guys how to add a simple movie 2x so we're dropping you some frames, frames or you can type in slash then we'll type in 4x and then dropping more frames so of course this is me while recording but once i am not recording i assure you guys it's gonna play what's up guys nice welcome back to the channel and by the way, this footage is in 4K, so it's pretty tough for a four core laptop to record in 4K and edit in 4K. So, but that's basically all the optimizations you guys can do. Hopefully this video worked for you guys and made your editing a lot faster. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you guys later. Peace out.